Hello everyone, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Maths class. This is first class of conic section chapter. This conic section is mainly divided into four concepts. First one is circles. Second one is parabola. Third one is ellipse. Fourth one is hyperbola. In this class, we will learn theory part related to circles. Okay. First concept is what? Circle. First thing, definition of circle. What is circle? You cannot say that circle is a round figure. Yes, of course, circle is a round figure. But the point is, what is the definition of circle? What way we will define a circle mathematically? Here, you observe there is a fixed point in the center. You see, you, you, you see here, here one fixed point is there. You take one fixed point. Now, you take all the points in a plane. Plane means what? It's a flat surface. That means anywhere on the board here, right? Points in a plane such that which are equidistant from this fixed point. Suppose I'll take one point here. I suppose this distance is four units, right? Now you take one more point in this plane such that which is equidistant. That means another point which is a four units distance. Suppose if I take a point here, same distance, try to understand four units. Four units or five units, whatever it is, but same distance. Now you take one more point such that its distance from fixed point is again four units. You see, here, if we take like this, if we take all such points, your points are here, you take points like that. If we join them, what happens? If we join them, you will get circle. What is the definition of circle? Set of all points in a plane which are equidistant from fixed point. Suppose this point is there here. This is, you suppose this is 5 units. Suppose if I take one more point here, this is not 5 units. We can easily understand that. You need to take points in such a way that which are equidistant from fixed point. This length, this length, this length. You see, whatever points are there here, they are all equidistant from this fixed point. Right? So, what is the definition of circle? The definition of circle is like this. Set of all points in a plane which are equidistant from fixed point is called circle. First thing, you take one fixed point. Now, you take all the points which are equidistant from this fixed point and then join all such points, right? For example, if this is the fixed point, you can take points like this also, which are equidistant. If you join all these points, you will get circle. I hope you are understanding. Now, two things you need to know. This fixed point is then, I will name it as C. This fixed point C is called center of the circle. Okay. Next one is radius. What is radius? The distance from center to any point on the circle. This length is then, this length is called radius. Generally, we denote it by smaller, right? Distance from center to any point, right? This, this is also radius. It is of same length, right? What is this distance from center to any point on the circle? is called radius. So, you learn total three things. One is the definition of circle. What is center of a circle? In the definition, we will take fixed point. Now. That fixed point is called center of the circle. What is radius of the circle? The distance from center to any point on the circle is called radius. You see here, same thing I written. Fixed point is called center of the circle. Distance from center to any point on the circle is called radius. You learned definition of circle, what is center, what is radius. Now, we will learn about equation of a circle. See, in this uh, circles, uh, as per NCRT test book, equation of the circle is the most important thing. Equation, actually equation means algebra. Linear equation, quadratic equation, cubic equation like that. Equation means algebra. Circle means geometrical figure. How? we relate a geometrical figure to the algebra that is all about equation of a circle right straight lines chapter you learn na? in straight lines chapter we will say that 2x plus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 is the equation of a straight line because this line equation is of the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 what is this ax plus by plus c equal to 0 it is the equation of a straight line actually it represents a straight line but we written in algebraic form, try to understand. In the same way, for circle also, equation will be there. What is equation of a circle? This is 
very important in class 11th NCRT circles topic. Okay, right. First thing, well, actually, what we are doing, we are deriving equation of a circle. To derive the equation of a circle, we need center and radius. You observe here, I considered a circle whose center is h comma k look here center h comma k is the center and r is radius of this respective circle what i am trying now i am deriving equation of a circle okay now on this circle how many points will be there on this circle infinitely many points will be there i'll take one point and i take in p of x comma y is any point on the circle suppose you mark here i'll take this as point p okay what is the distance from center to point P? What is this distance? This distance is radius. I take in R is the radius of the circle. So what is CP? CP equal to R. From the figure, we can easily understand that the CP equal to R. CP means what? Distance from C to point P. Now, here we know point P and we know uh, the point C also, center. C is H comma K, P is X comma Y. Now, I will take this C as x1, y1, this P as x2, y2. Cp distance formula is what? Root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Right? Apply that formula, what you will get? Root over x2 minus x1, that means x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r. Now, here the square root is there. Na? So to avoid the square root, I will square this equation on both sides. I am writing here squaring on both sides. If I square on both sides, this left side root will get cancelled and right side you will get r square. You see here x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. What is this? This is the equation of the circle. This is most important one while doing exercise problems. We use this formula very, very frequently. See, whenever they are asked to find equation of a circle, most of the time we use this formula only. What is this? What is this? This is equation of a circle. For this circle, what is center? Center is h comma k. What is radius? R. Here R is there. No? R is the radius. I hope you are understanding, right? So what I mark here, that is most important. x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square is the equation of a circle whose center is h comma k, radius is r. Now, if I expand this, if I expand this, you see here, I will get one x square term, one h square term, one x term. Here, this h square term is constant. If I expand this, I will get one y square term, k square term, one y term. Here k square term is constant and r square is also constant, right? So, when you expand this, what happens? You will get one x square term, I will write here. When you expand this, you will get one x square term, one y square term, one x term, one y term, one constant term, right? So, this is called general form of the circle. This is what we are going to discuss now. Actually, what is this? This is the main one, right? When I simplify this, you will get an expression like this, right? So, this x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 is called general form of a circle. For example, general form of a straight line. In a straight line chapter, if anyone asks what is the general form of a straight line, you will say that ax plus by plus c equal to 0. This is the general form of a straight line. Like that, what is the general form of a circle? general form of a circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0, right. Now, we will discuss about general form of a circle. As I said, one x square term, one y square term, one x term, one y term, one constant term will be there in general form of a circle. This equation represents a circle. I am saying that this is the general form of a circle. This equation represents a circle. My question is, if this equation represents a circle, what is its center? What is its radius? We cannot say directly like this from this. Actually, if you know like this, x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. If the equation is of this form, we can say that for this circle, center is h comma k, radius is r. Right? That is what we just 
now we learn right so for this circle is there na this circle i will write into this form x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square form so that i can easily say what is center of this circle right now what the point is i will write this equation in the form of x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square to write into that form first i'll write like this x square term and this x term plus 2gx now observe carefully here i'll add g square and after equal also i'll add g square so what happened this g square g square will get cancelled right now what i written x square and this 2gx these two terms i written now y square and 2fy these two terms i'll write plus y square plus 2fy plus f square here you observe i added f square right hand side also i'll write f square now you can see this g square g square f square f square will get cancelled what you will get x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy this c is remaining that i'll write here please try to understand i am trying to write this equation in the form of x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square to write into this form here i added g square and here i subtracted g square and here i added f square that will get cancelled here right so now you observe this what is this this is x plus g whole square right whatever is there here that can be written as x plus g whole square plus now you observe whatever is there here that can be written as y plus f whole square okay now what i'll do this c is there now i'll take it to the right hand side part so it will be like this g square plus f square minus c actually i am trying to write this in the form of x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square see left hand side part is okay of same type now right hand side part you observe here square is there now i want to write this expression in the form of square okay so for that what i'll do this g square plus f square minus c is there now that i'll write like this root whole square then what happened the square root and 2 will get cancelled again you will get g square plus f square minus c only why i written like this because i want r square this right hand side part okay now finally this plus g is there now. this plus g we can write like this minus of minus g you may ask why to write like this because because i want to write this equation in the form of x minus h whole square here minus is there that's why i written minus here plus y minus of minus f whole square equal to r square r square means what you will you will get uh, g root over g square plus f square minus c whole square now i can compare this equation with x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square for this circle what is center center is h comma k now for this what is center for this center is minus g comma minus f that means here this equation is there in a general form x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2 f y plus c for this what is the center for this center is minus g comma minus f for this circle what is radius observe compare compare radius is root over see radius is root over g square plus f square minus c right so what i can write now i can write center center is what center is minus g comma minus f what about radius radius r is root over g square plus f square minus c so whenever we see general form of a circle equation from that circle equation we can find center and radius for that what are the formulas minus g minus f radius is root over g square plus f square minus right so this is the theory part related to circle as per ncrt test book for class 11 10th chapter